the art of painting, also known as the allegory of painting, or painter in his studio, is a 17th century oil on canvas painting by Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer. It is owned by the Austrian Republic and is on display in the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna. Many art historians think that it is an allegory of painting, hence the alternative title of the painting. Its composition and iconography make it the most complex Vermeer work of all. After his, Christ in the House of Martha and Mary, it is his largest work. The painting has only two figures, the painter and his subject, a woman with downcast eyes. The painter was thought to be a self-portrait of the artist and Jean-Louis Vaudoyer suggested the young woman could be his daughter. The painter sits in front of the painting on the easel, where you can see the sketch of the crown. He is dressed in an elegant black garment with cuts on the sleeves and on the back that offers a glimpse of the shirt underneath. He has short puffy breeches and orange stockings, an expensive and fashionable garment that is also found in other works of the time, as in a well-known self-portrait by Rubens. The tapestry and the chair, both reposoirs, lead the viewer into the painting. As in the allegory of faith the ceiling can be seen. Experts attribute symbols to various aspects of the painting. A number of the items, a plaster mask, perhaps representing the debate on Paragon, the presence of a piece of cloth, a folio, and some leather on the table have been linked to the symbols of liberal arts. The representation of the marble tiled floor and the splendid golden chandelier are examples of Vermeer's craftsmanship and show his knowledge of perspective. Each object reflects or absorbs light differently, getting the most accurate rendering of material effects. The map, remarkable as the representation of light on it, shows the 17 provinces of the Netherlands, flanked by 20 views of prominent Dutch cities. It was published by Claes Janszoon Vischer in 1636. This map, but without the city views on the left and right can be seen on paintings by Jacob Octorvilt and Nicolaes Mays. Similar maps were found in the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris and in the Swedish Skakloster. In the top left of the map two women can be seen, one bearing a cross staff and compasses, while the other has a palette, brush, and a city view in the hand. 